very weird day. It's uh, 12 o'clock, we're at Bradwell in the Peaks. We've already been to uh, North York Moors, it wasn't really working there. And there was lots of, uh, lots of rain prior, so we came back from the, to the Peaks. Uh, see if we can get up and see what we can do. So, we're up. And now we're gonna see if we can uh, can get up there with the boys. Way there we go. Looks like we've got a bit of a climb. Let's see if we can stick this one. it about 600 Okay, made it to uh, 1,060 or so. Not quite, uh, not quite one, uh, not quite 1,100 meters. And now we're going on glide, and it looks like there's a thermal ahead. So hopefully, I'll reach that still high. Find a climb where the others uh, where the others were. So I'm going to try go to the sunny side here, see if I can find something. There's something here. No. Lost more than what I gained. Try another climb. Was on the um, we're down to 600 or so, now back to 830. This one seems a fair bit stronger than the other one, at least for now.
didn't manage to uh, top up again and uh, lost the thermal, so now going on glide. Not looking good. Okay, so little look see, just over 10 kilometers, never got high enough, probably got a bit too impatient as always. Okay, so we're down. What happened there? Well, I came from there, that's Bradwell over there, then didn't get very high, but wanted to stick with everyone else because I thought I might get something stronger didn't started to sink out when they got their second climb I couldn't find it even even though I was underneath them so I kind of made it like went south to kind of the south bit of Bradwell gliding club kind of like where that big mast is in the distance I managed to get a decent climb there I uh, didn't go to cloud base again and then just glided off downwind on top of uh, on top of a number of um, little villages hoping that I get something there from the tarmac and from the houses and nothing and I ended up here I think this is Kerber I think this is Kerber Edge and um, my idea was to try and make it back to Bradwell but it still looks like pretty nice sky so what I might try and do is have a bit of pain o chocolate and see if I can make it over there See what the um, see what the air is like up there because it might be able to relaunch and maybe get up. Who knows? If not, it's another half hour or so for a little sled downhill. So we'll see. Whew. Looks like I'm about a third of the way up. Maybe halfway up. I landed down there that field not long to go now finally made it onto the path Whoa. 
should be a bit easier going from here on because we're going up there hopefully via the side there just following the path along made it to the top Whew. it's not very high started from the bottom and now we're here wind feels really light but we're in shade at the moment so let's see if I can find suitable takeoff it's very very shallow more than likely I'll end up uh, down there where I landed initially this seems to be the, uh, the least bad place there's a fair amount of wind and it's bang on the hill Yeah, it probably wouldn't be too bad if I lunch now. And there's not as many trees. Over to the left, there's quite a lot of trees. We do need some sunshine there. Oh, there's a paraglider there. Right in front of me. Hi. Seems to be going the other way. It's quite interesting. This must be thermic wind rather than meteor. So we're up. But it's not looking great. up and down this ridge yeah so I had to wait quite a bit for the wind to come and uh, it's looking tricky it's looking very tricky Oh, and there's a uh, lorry and Jack, it looks like. I think they went over to uh, Chesterfield as well with Theo, probably went out in front. And uh, just making it back. There's something here. There's something here again. Three thirty. Takeoff was three hundred. Pretty much the same. Looks like Jack is struggling a little bit, and Laurie's uh, Laurie's kept high, so he's doing all right. There you go, that's the gun, that's the one. And uh, Jack's just going to meet me now because he thinks I've got something but I got fuck all. Hey dude, hopefully he'll, uh, hopefully he'll help me out find something here, because this is horrible, absolutely horrible. Oh, something a bit better now. Yeah, definitely something better. So shallow though. Gotta be patient, Andre. Gotta be patient. So frustrating. I've uh, been flying here for about half an hour or so, and I just can't get. 100 meters above takeoff. 
Jack seemed to be struggling as well. He was here with me for most of the time, but now he's up there. It looks like he might be able to climb out, but very tricky. Very, very tricky. So, the thermal I was with um, over at Kerber was uh, really shallow. So I left with that about 550, so 150 above takeoff. Now I've just come downwind and there's nothing here and there's, I'm kind of under a bit of a cloud, so there's nothing there. Jack is still, uh, Jack is still there on, uh, on the ridge, about ridge height and uh, likelihood is I'm gonna land here near these cars and hopefully get a uh, hopefully get a lift to uh, to Bradwell look how cool these uh, little streams are snaking away without a care in the world. Look at it. Making away. Like it's quite windy over here. Getting some collapses and stuff. I think I'm gonna glide in and try to land on the other side of the road if I can get there maybe not, maybe I'll stay here landing gear down and coming in on approach it's quite windy surprisingly And we are safely down. Nice, nice. Wings still up in the air. Oh, 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 oh. It's quite boggy here, so I'm going to try to get to the edge of the field without putting it down. down. So, all packed up. The second flight of the day. Going through a bit of a boggy bit. But, just to close it, it was pretty good. We went completely the wrong way to start with in the last four hours. But that's just how it goes. Because you never know which hill is going to be the right hill. So, up, up north in the uh, North York Moors was too wet. There was no sunshine hitting the ground and there was no way we were ever going to fly there. Not sure what happened to the people that went to the Dales. We got back to the peaks, went to Bradwell. That kind of worked fairly reasonably well. I think most people climbed out a lot better than I did. I think I was faffing around too much with the camera. And then, um, so I left there about a thousand, I reckon cloud base was like 1200 or maybe 1300. Um, and yeah, and kind of never made it to cloud base. Second climb was really nice because it was one of those like, oh, there's a, there's a bit of a slope facing uh, facing south that should work you go over there and it works and you get a climb out that one that one was really good um then kind of landed at the bottom of Kerber, did the mcclurg didn't give up went up the hill and watched again i was pretty happy about that how that worked out got john joined by jack which struggled with me for about half an hour or so until i got the best climb and got bored at the same time and uh, just left and this must be i don't know two two or three kilometers downwind probably two and a half something like that uh i'll put the track logs for both flights in the description hopefully they recorded the first track log, I'm not sure, forgot to press play. Um, yeah, all in all, good day, um, not giving up works, and uh, not the biggest XC in the world, but it's definitely 
definitely quite nice to do, first one of the season, and uh, I've learned some stuff, which is ideal. So, I'm gonna find my way, sorry, I'm gonna find my way back to Bradwell, see if those people still find, and um, gonna go home and have a nice cup of tea. Well, yeah. you, are you alright here? Yeah, this is perfect, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, yeah. What was your name again? Sorry, I forgot. Brit. Everybody Brit. calls me Brit. Brit, yeah, perfect. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. Absolute lifesaver. <laughs> Brit. What an absolute legend. Hit that. I, I couldn't film everything, but he had an amazing life story. He's been climbing for almost 60 years. Um, really nice guy. He was a draftsman, then he was a steeplejack, and then he just pretty much spent most of his... Um, life climbing so anyway he gave me a lift back to here back to Breadville and there's a couple of uh, hand gliders flying up there I think the wind got quite strong at the end of the day especially when I was landing so maybe that's how uh, we managed to get up there anyway that's it for Paravlog 10 I'll see you on the next one